This is one of my Nero bases. It's a short scale, 30 inch short scale. It's hollow, it has a block under the bridge. This is a Western Cedar front and back with a white fur core piece, a frame piece, I guess you'd call that. It has a maple fretboard, a maple neck with a scarf joint maple head. So it's all maple neck and it's a bolt on. Uh, the nut is one and a half inches. We have a set of Godo compact tuners, a Delrin nut. Uh, this is a Dan Electro style bridge. I prefer a narrower string spread and that delivers it nicely for me. The pickups are my type 14 humbuckers. <laughs> Which, uh, I was going for more of a vintagey sound, and it makes a nice swampy, vintagey, funky, thunk sound. And being humbuckers are very quiet. Uh, Three-way switch. Now, before you raise your eyebrows about a 30 inch bass, you got to consider this. All of those hits from the 60s were made with 30 inch basses. Paul McCartney's Hofner violin bass is 30 inches. The basses, most of the basses that Bill Wyman used with Rolling Stone, 30 inch basses. Um, Jack Bruce, Cream. 30 inch bases were his favorite and the reason people like them is not only because they're just easier to navigate for people like me with stubby fingers but they have a more dark deeper sound to them because basically because of physics the strings are a little bit looser so they are moving a little bit more and it gives it a deeper thumpier sound than a stronger tighter string it's, it's like this the difference between a, a, a telecaster and a les paul a telecaster's got a little longer strings so they're a little bit tighter and twangier whereas a les paul's a little you know a little bit shorter makes it a little bit looser and with more body to it so you can get a really nice sound out of a, of a short scale bass and I've always played them because, like I said, I got stubby fingers and it, it's just more fun. Nero, number 398.